Hey everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over several ways that you can use sigils. So if you don't know how to make a sigil, go ahead and click this link up here. I will link the video up here on how to make a sigil or check in the description below and we'll go ahead and just hop right into it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click the little bell so you can be notified when I post a new video and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up for me. I would really appreciate it. The first method I'm gonna talk about is the tried and true method of burning the sigil away. It goes without saying, but I have to say it so I know I did my part. If you're using this method, please make sure you are practicing fire safety. Have a fire extinguisher, a glass of water, or something to put out a fire in the case of an accident or emergency. Don't burn down your house, okay? Okay. I have a sigil here that I created for a specific purpose, and I'm going to draw the sigil on this paper with a marker. If you remember from my previous video about how to make sigils, you'll know that I have a favorite way of making sigils, so don't forget to watch that video if you haven't already. For this method, you're going to need paper and a marker or pen, matches or a lighter, and a fireproof container. Yes, I use a pot because I'm cheap and it's what I have on hand. You can use a pot too. Draw your sigil on the paper, thinking about what it means to you and what you want it to help you accomplish. Fold the paper however you want and put it in your fireproof container. Then, light it on fire. Burn the sigil away and let the smoke carry your intentions out into the universe. You can take it an extra step further and use the ashes for an ink if you mix it with water and make a paste, or you can also do like I do and once the ashes are cooled, let the wind carry them away. You can also add sigils to objects and imbue them with magic. Here, I have a sigil I created to help my plant grow once I add it to this cute little pot. I drew the sigil on the bottom of the pot with a white paint pen, and then, once I plant my seed in the pot, I know that the proper care and the sigil that I've created will help the plant flourish. You can add sigils to any object to give them a magical purpose. It can be as creative or as simple as you want, and the only limitation here is your imagination. Lastly, I made this sigil to promote deep, restful sleep, if it wasn't obvious. And it's gonna go underneath my mattress for my boyfriend and I. Like the previous example, sigils can also be placed inside objects, under them, or around them to give the same effect. Now, I obviously don't want to draw the sigil directly on my mattress because if I need to change the sigil out or recharge it, that would make it a lot harder. So. I drew this sigil on this piece of paper, charged it with my intention while doing so, and folded it up to be placed underneath our mattress. You want to use this method to charge objects or surroundings with your intention temporarily. You don't want to permanently place a sigil on an object or in an area if the use of that object or area might change or if you might not need it anymore. So I hope you found this video helpful with these ways that you can use sigils. Keep in mind that there are no limitations on the way that you can use a sigil. Be as creative as you want, use them to help your plants grow, use them to help you sleep or to boost your confidence or even to make your fingers work while you type, type, type away while you're working. So again, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you can be notified of when I post a new video. I've got lots of new video ideas coming up for the year 2020. Oh my gosh, we are almost in a whole nother year and an entirely new decade and time just doesn't stop for anyone. So I will see you guys next year. Bye!